Remember that already danger has often threatened you, and you have looked it triumphantly in the face. This time the struggle will be between a victorious army and an enemy already once vanquished. God himself, moreover, by suggesting to Darius to leave the open ground and cram his great army into a confined space, has taken charge of operations in our behalf. We ourselves shall have enough room to deploy our infantry while they, no match for us either in bodily strength or resolution, will find their superiority in numbers of no avail. Our enemies are Medes and Persians, men who for centuries have lived soft and luxurious lives. We of Macedon for generations past have been trained in the hard school of danger and war. Above all, we are free men, and they are slaves. They are Greek troops, to be sure, in Persian service, but how different is their cause from ours? They will be fighting for pay, and not much of it at that. We, on the contrary, shall fight for Greece, and our hearts will be in it. As for our foreign troops, Thracians, Paeonians, Illyrians, Agrianese, they are the best and stoutest soldiers in Europe, and they will find as their opponents the slackest and softest of the tribes of Asia. And what, finally, of the two men in supreme command? You have Alexander. They, Darius.